why I keep looking at this painting if my first impression is not that good. And what I discovered with that painting is absolutely mind blowing. But why is that roof so dark? Pissarro is keeping me in the painting. I'm gonna explain you why. So today I wanna share something with you that I discovered in Camille Pissarro's uh, painting. Something that absolutely blew my mind uh, yesterday night. And I thought it was important to share that with you. Uh, it's a composition matter. So Camille Pissarro, uh, first, is an impressionist. He's a French impressionist, considered like the father of uh, the impressionist movement. He was an older artist that uh, probably was, was kind of the pioneer of the movement, but he always believed uh, in that movement and he supported uh, the young impressionist from the start and to the end of his life. Uh, so here I was looking at this painting first and I was absolutely in love with that painting. Uh, this painting is a high key painting. Uh, so a high key painting is a painting uh, that keeps uh, the value range between uh, 1 and 5 or at least it's a painting that is uh, located high in the value range. And uh, as you can see here on the black and white version uh, it's very high key painting. The darkest accent is this one is here. It's a beautiful painting. I'm absolutely in love with that painting. But then I saw this painting. And at first, when I saw this painting, uh, compared to the other one, this is an earlier work. So the other one uh, is from 1874. And this one, this is an earlier work from 1867. And so when I saw this uh, painting, I saw it uh, as a thumbnail first and I didn't like it really. It appears very dark. And uh, I opened the painting to see it bigger uh, in a larger size. And I looked at it and I started to be intrigued. And I still quiet was, I don't know, there was something I didn't like. And I think just before I was just in love with that high key painting, and when I switched to the other one, the contrast was, was pretty big. And my first impression was like, ah, I don't like this one. But I kept looking at it. And I was wondering why I keep looking at this painting if my first impression is not that good. And that's when the composition matter comes into place. And what I discovered with that painting is absolutely mind blowing. Let me show you. So here on that painting, first my eyes landed here in this area. And then I came here, I came here, followed here, found this uh, center of interest, found these little houses here, came here. Wow, came here, discovered that lady. I discovered later on that there is a second lady next to her. I came here, come here, come here, come here. And boom, I come here and I come back here. And I do the, I do the, the path again. And I'm starting to wonder what's happening. I'm amazed. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing step by step. I'm seeing that Camille Pissarro is keeping me in the painting because of its composition. I cannot exit the painting. And I'm amazed because I've read that in books. I heard uh, uh, artists mentioning that, oh, you need to keep the viewer in the painting, blah, blah, blah. But I was always wondering, how can you really do that? And it just naturally happened to me and I was amazed. So now I'm gonna explain you why we stayed in the painting or why I stayed in the painting. And it's absolutely mind blowing, you will see. Here, my eyes started here. Why my eyes started here? So now we're going to start to go step by step why I kept looking at this painting. So here, this is the highest uh, light of the painting. This is the darkest dark of the painting. Um, with probably here and here and uh, here. The darkest dark. But... The real, the dark, the, this mass, this huge dark mass here is the biggest contrast point with that light mass, that, that first light mass 
this is the lightest light mass here. So these two areas are so, the contrast is so high that your eyes start here. And this, of course, uh, Camille Pissarro did everything so my eyes starts here because he placed these two shapes in contrast next to each other. So here I started here and then my eyes are uh, gently pulled on the left by this heel here that he placed at the third of the composition of the, of the, the size of the, the, the painting, the canvas. Here, I keep going here and here I go here like that. And why is that? I go here because you see here all this is in shadow. So naturally our eyes stop with the light and keep going where the light is. And the light is here. The light travels here as our eyes travel through the painting. Here our eyes stops and meet the second point of interest. I will say the first point of interest is that, is the clouds. And that the genius of Camille Pissarro is that he is able to, to place a few more, like more than one single point of interest in his painting without losing the viewer. This is mind blowing. So the first, in my opinion, the first point of interest of that painting is the illuminated, illuminated clouds at the end of the day or it's early morning, that I'm not sure. Let's, let's pretend that it's late, uh, a late afternoon, but it might be an early morning. Well, let's say it's either or, this doesn't have uh, too much uh, interest in, in our composition matter of, of today. But um, so here, the light, we travel. So the first point of interest, the clouds, we, we, we go on the left, we travel down with the light. We arrive here, we discover the second point of interest, in my opinion, this little village here, this little house is beautifully painted. One, two, and we come here, we, so we, we see our others, and then again, here the light keeps coming here so we go here we go back here with this light path perfectly located here so our eyes goes back here on the right and then bam the magical point of interest discreetly placed there so you discover it in the second uh, view not at the first view like you travel through the painting and you discover that this is to me genius and and totally magical uh, not magical actually, because it's very planned by the artist, but it's, it, it gives me a magical impression. It's amazing. So here, this beautifully uh, figure painted with the umbrella and it's actually, there's two figure. Um, okay. And then we keep going with that illumination of the path that is, in my opinion, just amazing here. And we don't exit, this is so important, we don't exit the painting here. Sorry, my old computer. Uh, we, don't, we don't exit the painting here. We do not because it plays the shadow here. All this is in shadow and, and, and doesn't allow us to exit the painting. So we keep going here and again here this this seems this seems nothing but it's everything this little shadow placed here at the bottom of the painting it looks like nothing it's everything in french we say uh, the the evil uh, hides in detail it's this this is everything in my opinion like all these details matter so much in producing a masterpiece like that the fact that this little shadow here doesn't allow us to exit and then you will see then it's another magical moment that comes and then you arrive here and what's coming here to to again not allowing us to exit the painting this little light triangle here beautifully composed with that roof here but why is that roof so dark and look at that dark here in absolute contrast to balance the high quality of the most important interest point 
in my opinion, for Camille Pissarro, the light here. He contrasts that powerful light. He balances perfectly the painting with that um, that uh, dark, 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 uh, uh, very dark rooftop here. And he, on the in the same time, the, in the same time, he balances the painting like that. And he doesn't allow us one more time to exit the painting. And he pulls us here with that line of the field. And then again, magically this look at that this beautiful curve here where the light hits here the shade is again here the shadow is again here present so we don't exit the painting and boom we come back here and look the final touch of the master it's i'm sorry but i'm, I'm amazed look at that look at that the final touch of the master and you see how curve how we go with with like so, such a gentle curve line all over the painting and look at that curve again curve again and look at that look at the final touch look at the shape of the cloud here to make us oh my god look at that and we go back and we go back and we do that it's amazing it's amazing so i was so mind blown by that I, I i absolutely wanted to share that with you uh i'm learning about composition right now uh it's amazing uh it was very obscure uh even a few weeks ago uh but it start to i start to see some light in here and it's it's just Having something like that, seeing the master painting and, and, and noticing all these little details that I know Camille Pissarro did that intentionally. Uh, so now this is definitely something I'm gonna try to think each time I go painting. I'm gonna try to read more about composition and I'm gonna try to analyze more master's painting work. I think this is very important and this also gives me motivation to go back outside and paint. Um, and I hope this gives you uh, some motivation as well. <laughs>